Welcome to SDN Tech Forum. You're watching TE Bootcamp, and in this uh, video, in quick video, we are going to add another enterprise agent, and this time we will use a physical machine that is Raspberry Pi agent to run our Thousand Eyes agent. So go to uh, agent setting, add new agent. From there, we under appliances, we are going to download Raspberry Pi 4. Earlier, we installed a cloud agent in AWS. Uh, VPC. This time we will add another enterprise agent, but we will be running locally on prem. And for demonstration purposes, I am installing this agent on Raspberry Pi. Once you have that image, you flash it and use that image to blue boot your Raspberry Pi. Once your Raspberry Pi is booted, it will get a public IP, a private IP address within your home network environment, and you can use that IP address. Go to browser, put that IP address, and you will see um, the local interface. Username is admin, password is welcome. So this is my TE agent running on Raspberry Pi locally, not yet authenticated to Thousand Eyes uh, uh, cloud dashboard. What you need, you need account group, which you have to figure uh, get it from your Thousand Eyes account uh, portal. From there, you just bring that account group ID copy paste it here and this agent will do the remaining it will automatically go um, make a connection to thousand eyes dashboard and uh, as a result of that the agent will start showing into your thousand eyes account as soon as i pasted that account group you can see agent is running we cannot run browser bot test because that is a limitation with raspberry pi okay bingo you can see the Raspberry Pi agent, we named it as a tippy. That agent started showing on your Thousand Eyes dashboard. And once you click that, you will have all the information. For time, uh, it is showing offline, but it will come back. It's an intermittent issue. Just now it has contacted. That's why. As you can see, agent name, you can go ahead and st immediately start using it for a test. That's what we did. We included this agent into one of the tests and we attached an offline notification. So every time this agent goes offline, I can see uh, or I can get a notification. You can also run test against or towards this agent. For that, you may have to click this behind an ad because you need to tell um, thousand eyes that this agent is actually sitting behind the net uh, nat but for this agent to run outside test it's all taken care automatically that means thousand eyes can um, detect automatically that yes this is the private ip address and thus the public ip address which you are seeing on the left side you can also look at the agent stats that means agent utilization what kind of test cases it is running all those informations are available there you can attach notification we will talk about notification in detail in upcoming videos but as you can see i just want to add a notification that every time or in any time my agent goes offline i should get an email you can use webhook as well or you can use third party integrations uh, under integration so the uh, we will stick to the simpler method let's get an email every time this agent goes offline right and you can add some um, message body as well so you may feel like uh, we are rushing but it's pretty straightforward all you have to do is download the image uh, flash it on a sd card boot up your raspberry pi and that's everything is automatic as soon as you put the account right account group token the agent should be able to connect to thousand eyes and from there on you can start using it under any kind of test you are running that's what we are doing. We are running a web server a test, which is going to google.com and checking for connectivity. We can see uh, availability, loss, etc. And you can filter your test based on the one particular agent. And in our scenario, Tepi is that agent. And you can see everything is showing fine. Status by phase, DNS, SSL, receive, send, receive, everything is looking fine. So that was a quick demo for Enterprise Agent, fairly straightforward, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.